Chasing the Prophecy is the third and final book in the Beyonders series by Brandon Mull. The story resumes the epic adventures of Jason Walker and Rachel Woodruff in their quest to thwart the villainous wizard Emperor Maldor and save the mystical land of Lyrian. As the story unfolds, the land of Lyrian is in chaos, with Maldor's grasp over the realm tightening. The resistance movement against Maldor is dwindling, and circumstances look grim. Jason and Rachel, having grown significantly in skill and courage since their arrival from Earth, are now deeply entwined in the fate of Lyrian and its people. They have learned much about the word that can destroy Maldor and unleashed significant blows against his empire, yet the ultimate victory remains uncertain. The novel juggles multiple perspectives as it follows different groups of characters on their individual quests, all contributing to the grand scheme prophesied to bring about Maldor's fall. The prophecy itself is cryptic, suggesting that only a united effort can bring about the Emperor's defeat, but at a great cost. Each character's journey is marked by their personal growth, sacrifices, and the forging of bonds that become essential to their survival and the success of their mission. Jason embarks on a daunting mission to recruit a powerful, unpredictable ally, a being known as the Oracle, living reclusively in the underworld. The journey is treacherous, filled with riddles and challenges that test Jason's resolve and intelligence. Eventually, he wins the Oracle's alliance, though not without significant trials and life-threatening encounters. Meanwhile, Rachel works to master her abilities with magical Adamic language. She grows significantly in power, but she struggles with the realization that her increasing strength comes with the risk of losing her humanity. Amidst her trials, Rachel builds alliances with beings like the Displacer, a creature able to move through space with thought, which later proves pivotal in their endeavors. Farron, the amiable Displacer who betrayed them in the past but now seeks redemption, continues to show his complicated nature, torn between self-preservation and the burgeoning desire to do what is right. Farron's internal conflict reflects the choices faced by characters throughout the novel, deciding between personal gain or the greater good. As the paths of the various characters converge, the group eventually launches a direct assault on Maldor's stronghold, Felruk. Drake, a fierce and reliable ally, alongside Jason, Rachel, and others, infiltrates the castle in a daring effort to confront the Emperor. Before the climactic battle, several characters make ultimate sacrifices, as foretold by the prophecy, highlighting themes of bravery and selflessness that run throughout the book. During the raid, the group faces many of Maldor's underlings and carefully laid traps, fighting their way into the heart of his domain. Tension mounts as everything the rebels have worked for comes down to these final moments. In a breathtaking sequence, they finally confront Maldor. However, it becomes clear that their journey was influenced and guided by Maldor himself, who sought to understand the word of power that could destroy him. In a stunning twist of events, it is ultimately revealed that the true power to defeat Maldor doesn't lie in a magical word at all, but in a person, Rachel. Her mastery of Adamic language and deep understanding of magic allow her to turn Maldor's manipulations against him. In a pivotal moment, Rachel utters words that unravel the foundations of Maldor's power, leading to his destruction, and in the process, sacrificing the very essence that tied her to her former life and humanity. With Maldor's demise, the characters face the aftermath of their epic battle. Lyrian, now free from dictatorship, is left to rebuild. For many, there is healing to be done and losses to mourn, but there's also hope and the promise of a brighter future. The survivors step into roles of leadership, guiding a new era that emerged from the ashes of the old. Jason, who has faced his own personal struggles and revelations throughout the series, must now make a difficult choice about where he truly belongs. His love for Lyrian and its people wars with homesickness and the draw of his life back on Earth. Ultimately, Jason makes the selfless choice of returning to his own world, knowing that Lyrian has to be shaped by its own inhabitants. He takes with him the experiences, growth, and relationships that transformed him, forever changed by his adventures. Rachel, who has become something more than human through her experiences and sacrifices, remains in Lyrian. She carries the responsibility of helping rebuild the world she's helped save, 
and to forge a new legacy for the people free from oppression. In many ways, her journey reflects the overarching theme of transformation and the acceptance of one's role in shaping the future. As Chasing the Prophecy concludes, the story of Lyrian is wrapped up in a way that leaves a lasting impact on readers. It tackles themes of destiny, the power of unity, the nature of sacrifice, and the idea that true heroism comes in many forms. Brandon Mull provides closure for the characters the readers have grown to love, all while celebrating the extraordinary adventures and hard-won victories that defined the Beyonder series. The bittersweet ending witnesses our heroes moving forward, carrying with them the weight of their trials and the hope for a better tomorrow, both in the fantasy realm of Lyrian and in the reality of Earth. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.